Hey guys, in today's video I'll be reviewing the top 8 best salmon fishing rod and reel combo. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews, and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 8 in my list is Cast King Rod and Reel Combo. The Cast King Centering Combo is designed for beginners who want a versatile fishing setup. It's a good choice for new anglers. The rod and reel are strong, handling heavy power and offering 17.5 pounds of drag. If you're aiming for smaller bass, the graphite blank gives the right fast action. The combo is tough too, with stainless steel guides and an aluminum spool. It's not super high quality, but it's all right. The 9 plus 1 bearings are decent, similar to what you'd get with 4 plus 1 high quality bearings. The overall performance of the Cast King Centrin combo is decent. It might not impress a lot, but it works well. Especially if you're just starting out and don't want to spend too much, it's a good choice for bass fishing. Number 7 in my list is Cadence CC5 Rod and Reel Combo. Let's talk about the next item. It's an affordable spinning combo that offers strength, sensitivity, toughness, and smoothness all together. First, there's a medium-heavy spinning rod and a reel in the package. The reel can handle up to 20 pounds of pressure to stop fish. I know I've said this before, but just in case someone missed the part about bait casting combos, I'll explain again. Really big bass, the ones you might see in a record book, need a medium-heavy rod and about 15 pounds of force to be reeled in. So this spinning combo is strong enough to help you catch even those huge bass. Number 6 in my list is Ugly Stick Rod and Reel Combo. People know Ugly Stick Rods as super tough. And it's true. The Ugly Stick Elite is made using Ugly Stick's special Ugly Tech construction, a mix of graphite and fiberglass. This mix is what makes Ugly Stick Rods really strong. Many Ugly Stick Rods everywhere are tough because of this. That's why the Ugly Stick Elite Baitcast Combo can last longer than most other rods out there. This bait casting rod can handle really big bass and even the small ones too. But the reel it comes with can only handle 12 pounds of force, which might limit you a bit. Still, overall, the Ugly Stick Elite Combo is known for being really strong and tough. Number 5 in my list is Luz Mac 1 Rod and Reel Combo. Now let's talk about the top bass fishing combo in the world. Not many rod and reel combos can be as good as the Abu Garcia Black Max combo, but even that falls short compared to the Luz Mac 1 combo. Here's why. When you look at the details, you'll see that the Luz Mac 1 combo is quite similar to the Abu Garcia Black Max combo. Both combos include a medium heavy, fast action graphite rod and a reel that can handle 15 pounds of pull. This means the Luz Mac 1 combo can handle big bass and even the most gentle nibbles. Both combos also have an aluminum spool, stainless steel guides, and stainless steel bearings. But this is where the Luz Mac 1 combo really shows its strength. Number 4 in my list is Abu Garcia Max X Rod and Reel Combo. For bass fishermen, having a good bait casting setup is really important. You need a rod and reel that you can rely on for tough casts and handling big fish. The Abu Garcia NLF bait casting combo is just right for this. The fishing reel has a strong graphite frame and stainless steel bearings. The power disc drag system helps you manage big fish when they try to swim away and keeps you in control. The rod is 7 feet long and comes in two options, 8 to 15 pound test line or 10 to 20 pound test line. You can also choose if you want to retrieve the line from the right or left side. Number 3 in my list is Lose Speed Rod and Reel Combo. If you're new to bass fishing, you might find baitcaster combos a bit intimidating. Matching a good rod with the right reel can be tricky if you're not used to it, and casting can be even tougher. But don't worry, the Lose Speed Spool LFS Baitcast Combo is here to help. It's a top quality setup that's great for beginners and doesn't cost too much. Bait casting reels use bearings to make casting smooth and accurate without tangles. More bearings usually mean better casts, and the Speed Spool LFS has 10 really good bearings. 
If you're new to these reels, just set the tension knob so the bait barely falls when you let it go. Turn the side brake halfway and you're ready to cast. I've been really impressed with this combo. It works just as well as some of my expensive sebs. Number two in my list is Pen Battle 3 Rod and Reel Combo. The Pen Battle 3 Combo is a strong member of the pen family and is built to handle the tough conditions of surf fishing. If you want to test a setup's toughness, take it to the beach for a day and you'll quickly see its value. The finest reels and rods for surf fishing can be very expensive and still get damaged by sand and salt quickly. But the pen battle reels are designed extra tough to handle the roughest saltwater days. Their carbon fiber drag systems won't corrode, even if they get fully soaked. While the reel is good, the rod is even better. Many combos match a good reel with a not-so-good rod, which can be a problem for surf fishermen. The pen battle rod has a sleek design and feels really comfortable in your hand. It balances perfectly with the reel, making it a great choice for surf fishing. Number one in my list is Pfluger Rod and Reel Combo. The Pfluger President Spinning Combo is fantastic for beginners, but it's not just for them. Even experienced anglers can enjoy it. The President Reel is famous for being one of Pfluger's top spinning reels, and rightfully so. Its drag system is really smooth with low startup power. This is important when you're dealing with big fish that make long runs. Low startup power means the drag starts working right away to prevent the line from breaking. Teamed up with a sensitive M8 graphite rod, this combo can notice even the tiniest fish bites. You can choose from different rod lengths, from 4 feet 8 inches to 7 feet. The shorter rods are great for casting small lures, which works well for catching trout or panfish. Personally, I prefer the 7-foot combo for all kinds of fishing. How right guys, this we are today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video, and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for amazing and coming videos. Be sure to check out the link in the description for updated price of all the products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.